Hi students! Curious about where the best spots to study are at McEwen and around town? In part one of this video, we will give you all the best insider tips about where in the university you can hunker down to study, and in part two, we'll tell you about off-campus study spaces. Awesome! So if I wanted to study at school, what are some good spots for me to check out? Well, for starters, we of course have our library. The second and third floor of Building 6 and 7 hold a ton of study space like couches, tables, and individual cubicles. The third floor of the library tends to be a little quieter, so depending on the atmosphere you want to be around, you can discover a ton of little nooks for a great study session. There are also study rooms all throughout the library. These rooms are perfect for studying with a group or working on a group project, and even come equipped with whiteboards. These rooms are meant to be used for two plus people to work in and have to be booked on my portal. To book a certain room or just to check if any are available, go to the quick links bar on your portal and click room booking system to take a look. Those rooms sound super useful for studying with friends. Are there any rooms I could just waltz into and not book to use? Oh, totally! You could study in classrooms that aren't being used for lectures. As long as the class schedule posted outside of the room doesn't have a lecture that will be happening soon, you are welcome to use it. Absolutely! Building 9, the Robbins Health Learning Center, has a ton of study areas tucked away on all three of its floors. There is also a cafeteria on the first floor of Robbins Health Center full of study space. A friendly warning though, this place can get pretty bumpin', so if you are looking for a place to not be interrupted, perhaps another one of our suggestions would suit you better. There's also a ton of study space packed into Allard Hall. There are tables and couches all around that building that can accommodate one person studying to a group of people studying. Study rooms are also found in Allard Hall. Same deal though, they're to be used by more than two people, and they have to be booked on the My McEwen portal. Now that we've told you about available study spaces around McEwen, part two of this video series will be all about off-campus study space ideas. See you there!